Hello, Bright Blessings. It's me, Tess Whitehurst, and I am here with a reading for you for this week, which is June 14th, 2021, um, for this whole week, starting today, Monday, and this is from my Magic of Flowers Oracle. So for today, Monday, and then Tuesday, and then the first part of Wednesday, we got tuberose, which I feel like we have very rarely gotten in these readings for some reason. So tuberose is about romance. It's about opening up to romance. So it could be that you're already in a relationship. Maybe you're not. Maybe you want one. Maybe you don't. Um, wherever you are, though, it's a reminder to open up to sensual beauty, to experiencing your sensuality. And it's also a message. It's interesting. I was surprised when I read the description, even though I wrote it. <laughs> I was surprised to find that there was also a piece about boundaries in it and the kind of boundaries where, you know, you don't feel like your experience of romance is dependent on someone else's behavior or on someone else being there. It's like tapping into this current of energy that is romance, that is sensuality. That's like your emotions being open to sweetness and beauty and your body's physical sort of experience of being here, being present, which I feel like is such a piece of the Midsummer Portal. For those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, we're coming up on Midsummer this Sunday. And those of you, of course, in the Southern Hemisphere coming up on Midwinter Yule. So, but yes, so for tuberose, be open, be open, be open to Romeo for Monday, Tuesday, and the first part of Wednesday. Then for the second half of the week, the second half of Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we got Camellia, which is activate. And this is interesting in the way that it mirrors the cards that came up for in the podcast for this week in Magic Monday podcast because it's about activating energy, getting energy moving. It's also about trying something that you want to try and maybe moving out of your comfort zone. So keep that in mind for the second half of the week. It's a time of expansion. It's a time for us to notice the things that we want to create or experience or get good at or try um, and then to take action on them. So it can also be a message about um, just getting energy moving in general. So if you're in a place where you feel like stuck or stagnant to just like kind of get that ball rolling. It's like at first it feels hard, but if you even just get up and move your energy in some simple way, it starts to feel easier. So um, just in general, be tuned into like, how can I get energy moving and possibly what can I take action on or claim or admit or choose, you know, as we move forward as a goal, you know, to maybe try or expand in some way. Okay, and then for the weekend, this is really interesting, we got um, crocus, which is cool down. And I think it's interesting because this weekend is the summer solstice, which is the full flowering of the sun, at least in the northern hemisphere, we're, we're having summer solstice. And so at a time of really like the fire, the ball of fire in the sky, the brightness being, you know, at its pinnacle is we're being reminded to chill out, to relax. And so if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, then crocus cool down being kind of like tapping into relaxation and stillness and calm and sort of clearing yourself of anger or impulsiveness like that might feel more natural but if we're in the um if you're in the northern hemisphere like most of us are that are probably watching this um then this is reminding us to tap into the aspect of solstice which is that the sun moves into cancer which is a water sign 
and also the dark half of the year is born. Each solstice contains its opposite. So at the full flowering of the sun, it's the birth of the dark half because the light starts to wane, the days be become shorter, um, and vice versa. So tapping into that, um, that energy of the dark half being born. I feel like we think about that a lot at winter solstice, like, oh, the sun is born, the bright half is born. But at summer solstice, it's not something, it's not always a super obvious thing that we think about is like, let's, you know, the dark half is being born, that watery, intuitive, like deep, still, dark, you know, that we don't think about that as much, but we are being reminded to think of that this weekend to like, and I believe the moon is in Scorpio for the summer solstice, which is a water sign, which will help us to like tune into that. Also the dark half being born and also just relaxing, just chilling, just calming your stress over the weekend. Okay, so that is your reading for this week. There's a new episode of Magic Monday podcast today with Jack Chanick where we talk about the Kabbalah. It's really fascinating talk. So you can find that wherever you listen to podcasts. And thank you for watching. See you next time.